What it do, homies? It's your boy, Dave, and I'm back today. We out here about to check out an inward base tutorial by Tyler, du Tyler Dubia, okay? Now, I know that I have a problem at distinctifying what's an inward base and what is not. So hopefully, by the end of this tutorial, the goal is for me not to confuse inward base with any other base sounds. And I'm glad that he's including many variations, okay? It's probably gonna take me a couple of tries right a couple of listens to really nail down that sound but i'm also going to try to practice some of this stuff that i'm listening to as well hopefully i don't absolutely horrify you guys with my practice with me practicing my techniques let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up hey what's up everybody my name is tyler w and today i'm here to teach you the inward bass <laughs> Inward bass is a technique that I like to use and try to incorporate into my routines in new and unique ways, as well as I try to push it in order to find new variations that I can do this with. At the time of me filming this video, the inward bass is a very popular technique among many beatboxers, and in my opinion, it is kind of the new liberal trend that's going around. Mm. Regardless of it being a popular technique, it began somewhere, and some of the most notable beatboxers who use it are Marcuse, B-Art, and Villain, so if you have time, make sure you go check those guys out because they kill it. What I like about this is that he's given a history and you give the history of the sound. That's really amazing. Because sometimes, you know, in order, sometimes, you know, if you want to teach something, you got to make sure you completely understand it. And that includes learning the history about it. So I, I like that he's giving me that history. Use it are Marcuse, B Art, and Villain. So if you have time, make sure you go check those guys out because they kill it. Inward bass is similar to throat bass in that it's done inwards, but it's the same kind of techniques that are used. Now, I don't have a tutorial for throat bass yet, but when I do, I'll have a link right about here so you guys can go reference that. Because it's like throat bass, you could tweak it in many different ways in order to get many variations. Some of the variations that I use include the inward growl, mm -hmm. the inward hip hop, <laughs> the inward bass and the inward case now together, the inward bass quick rolls, <laughs> and something I've been working on a lot, something that I've been trying to perfect, the inward high bass. Oh my goodness. Now before I try to Bruh. begin teaching the sound, I'm going to preface this by saying the sound is kind of difficult to get. I understand Do that. not push yourself. If your vocal cords begin to hurt, stop. There's no need to push yourself through the pain because you can just take a break, take a few hours, drink some tea, have some honey, or just, you know, if it hurts still after that, sleep on it. Whenever I'm doing this and my vocal cords start to hurt, I stop. Also, this is a rather difficult thing to explain, so I'm going to try to explain <laughs> on how I learned it, right. and hopefully that helps you guys. I'm going to begin by teaching the inward growl, the... No. And once you get this sound down, those techniques can be applied to every other single variation that I'm going to try to explain today. Kind of like getting down the fundamentals, right? Because once you, once, you once you unlock that fundamental, then everything else, you know, you can start playing around, but it's always the building blocks. I understand that. Okay. So to begin with the inward growl, what I recommend is first by exhaling all the air you have in your lungs and then taking a really strong, heavy inhale. But don't get lightheaded because that can happen. <laughs> but when you do it, when you do it, you might hear some kind of growling going on with your chest and your throat because that's the sound that we're trying to get. If you don't, what I recommend is you're trying to do it stronger or try, try tightening your vocal cords or try make, doing some kind of vocalization inwards because that's really what you need to do. Once you kind of get the feel of where the growling is coming from, I need you to kind of focus on that. So be like, <sighs> okay, hold on, hold on. So we do. <clears throat> it's difficult because when I tighten my throat, it's throwing my pitch up. And I understand that sometimes some some people's techniques they either lower their voice to kind of get that get lower their like like their embouchure right they fix their embouchure to get that low note but when I have my mouth wide I think I think it's causing me to do that high pitch so I'm start I feel like I'm starting to get it Man, I'm telling you, mixing that into a into a whole entire sequence, oh, that's difficult. And I can see why this takes a lot of practice. I 
feel like I'm close. I feel like I'm really, really close. Oh. I mean, it's not sounding as low as his. Oh. It's gonna take some practice, of course. Oh. Cause really, when you're doing this sound, it's just breathing in strong. So you're vibrating your vocal cords back and forth. And you can do different variations after that, but that's the primary focus. When you're Maybe it's because I'm not, I'm not breathing. I'm not taking too much air in, right? I'm, I'm sitting here trying to let. So let's try to take some more air in. <gasps> but ah, see, that's difficult because it goes up. So. <sighs> you know the the. That technique that he said to let all your breath out before you do it, I think that's also helpful because if I'm, already, if I'm already talking with some breath that's trapped in my lungs, that can make the inward bass a little bit difficult to achieve. So um, exhaling fresh air while doing it, that does help a lot. Ooh. <laughs> this is exciting. Inward bass. Inward bass. Okay, let's get to you. You're trying to learn the sound. So that's how I went about one of the inward growls. I hope that helps you guys. It is. Once you got that, we can move on to different variation. Once you guys got that, we can move on to different variations. Now, I 100% I know that I got to master the basics before we jump into the variations, but we're going to try it anyways because that's what makes things exciting. Hip, hip, hop, hop. So for the hip, hip hop hop, you're gonna want to say the words hip or hop inwards while doing your inward growl and focusing your mouth positioning like hip hop hip hip hop hop. And so for that, it really is just a focus on your pronunciation of the word. Well, pronunciation, but also you're so used to saying these words while exhaling and saying them when they inhaling is also super difficult. So you got to practice saying. So, so if I'm not trying to do the inward growl while exhaling, I'm not going to try to do it. I'm just going to try to master the lip like hip, hop, hip, hop, hip. And then I'm try to throw the growl. Hip, hop, hip. Getting that vibration down, man. That's some difficult stuff. Like, I can't do it as, as fast as he can, but I feel like elongated. If you do like a vocal fry, it's like super easy. Like, if I'm doing like this, like a vocal fry, but it's, it, there is definitely a distinct difference between vocal fry and inward bass. Dude, I felt out here sounding like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> Sign me up for the next Jurassic Park movie. And you can do any different words in words, but those are just the ones that I'm going to show for now. The hip, hip, hop, hip, hop, hip, hip, hip. And your mouth positioning. It's really all you got to do to learn. You know, I was trying to do that with using like a lower voice, but let me try to do, let me try to see if I can do that higher. Like hip, hop, hip, hop, hip, hop. Y'all let me know how I'm doing, man. I feel I feel silly. <laughs> learn that one. Next one we're gonna learn is the inward case snare with the inward growl. The <laughs> now to learn this, you're really just comboing your inward bass growl that you've already learned with an inward case snare, which I don't have a tutorial for it yet, but when I do, I will have one right here for you guys. So <laughs> The next technique that I'm hold on, man. How you going in the K sound? Don't you use that by exhaling? So to inhale and do that same. Ga, 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 ga. Oh, no, that, that might be too difficult for me, man. He moving on to the advanced techniques. That, that might be a little bit too difficult, but it's nice to know. I'll definitely be practicing that. I'm going to try to show is the which is the inward bass and inward click roll, which is widely used by B art. Now, this technique is again, once you have your inward growl, you can combo that with an inward click roll, though. Which, when I make a tutorial, I have another link for it right here, so you guys can learn that. You have a lot of back links. Here and combo them together. 
And so when doing that sound, it's just... Or... Now the next hey, you know, when I saw him tighten his lips, I found that that got a little bit easier for me. <laughs> this is why you need to drink a lot of water. That that lip roll with the with the inward bass. Alright, so from now on, I'm just gonna practice that basic that because at the more I start practicing it, the more I'm gaining control over those notes and I know how I feel, so it is making it a little bit easier. But what he did, tightening his lip definitely helped. So I feel like I can hit it a lot easier. But this is a lot of fun, man. Next sound is the inward high bass, which is one that I try to push a lot. And it's gonna sound like. Now, That's this inner sound Chewbacca. has the potential to hurt more than a normal inward growl. So when you're doing this again, if it hurts, stop. So when you guys do your inward growl, what you can do is you feel your vocal cords vibrating around the middle of your throat. The. If you guys want to obtain a higher pitch, you're gonna have to vibrate higher up in your throat and constrict your vocal cords tighter. So. Yo, did I just do it? Now that is difficult. <clears throat> Woo, I hope I ain't killing y'all ears. That is that is interesting, man. Oh my goodness. He's a good, he's a good instructor. <laughs> so that's oh, look at that, he lowered his jowls. Let's try that. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that's tough. So I'm, I'm, I'm a, right now when I'm doing this, I'm realizing that I need to suck in more air because as I start ascending and tightening my throat, the if I'm not sucking in enough air, then it's just falling short and I'm just producing a vocal instead of the inward bass. So let's try to do this a little bit more air. <clears throat> now, the funny thing about this is that it's not necessarily uh, hurting my voice because I already have like a deep voice. So I'm used to talking, you know, in my throat, like most of the time when I'm speaking, I talk with my throat tightened already. But if I was to drop down to like, like right here, this is kind of like, like my normal voice, but I can't really talk in this voice a lot because a lot of people can't hear me. So I tighten my throat so people can understand me. So if I drop down to like my normal voice like this, um, since I've been doing this for the most part, when I'm not around people, I think that's making it easier for me to access that access that in somebody who has like a natural high voice, you know, so either way, that's going to take some more practice. About all there is to learn of the inward bass, guys. I hope it helped. If it did not, please comment below and leave me with your concerns so I can answer them. Um, please tell me if there's anything I can do differently with these videos in order to teach better, to try to explain anything better I can. Again, I hope this helped. It's just how I learned it and I'm hoping that it can help you guys push. If you guys learn from this video please post videos and link me to them so i can see how you guys are doing but as always please like the video comment and share the video as well as subscribe to my channel so i'm going to continue to uploading tutorials if you have any requests please comment them below too but uh have a good day guys i'm the kraken and i'm gonna hunt you down <coughs>
like lip rolls and inward case snares and something like that. So I definitely need to go check out that tutorial. But from now on, like from, from until I get there, we're going to be practicing the inward bass. Mm -hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm over here trying to freestyle, but obviously I don't have mastery over it. But you guys let me know how I'm doing. I'm definitely going to continue practicing this. Sooner or later, I'm going to be, um, because I know you guys like those beatbox intro, intros. Lately, I haven't been feeling really uh, confident in my skills yet. But as I start going more down these tutorials, I'll be more confident. You never know. I might be able to start off these uh, beatbox reactions and loop station reactions that I do with a little bit of beatboxing on my own once I come up with something that I feel confident about. Anyways, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.